Okay, once you've created your account, logged in, it's going to bring you to this, which is our design page for a schematic. You have three areas. This is the main work area. We have our component selection over here. Then we have some toolbars. I know you're saying, well, that's pretty basic. I can figure that out. I know, but I just wanted to point it out so that we all have a pretty good idea of what we're talking about. So we're going to start with an LED circuit today. So let's grab an LED here. We use a 5 millimeter LED. And we'll bring it in like this. We're going to use three of them. So one, two, three, and then right click off of them. Now I want to turn them. So we click to select them. Now see how that one's brighter red, those two are darker red. That means the one on the left is selected. Then we'll come up here, we'll say rotate right, rotate right, and rotate right. So now we have them all nice and lined up. Next we're going to need resistors. So three resistors, one two, three, and the same process again, rotate right, rotate right. You have to like click precisely on them or they don't go where you want them to go. Then we can just click and drag them in place. Alright, pretty simple so far. Next we're going to add a switch to turn our circuit on and off. So we just need to come over here somewhere and find the switch. And I'm probably missing it because I do this all the time. Scroll slowly through here one more time. There's a momentary switch. Hmm. Okay, I don't see what type of switch I'm looking for. So what we can do is click on libraries and go uh, single pole, single throw. See if that brings it up. And what do we get? Hmm. I tell you what, we'll just go with the push button switch for now. We'll bring it in and we'll line it up over here. And then we'll rotate it left. All right. So now that we have all of these things hooked up together, we're not hooked up, but laid out where we want them. Oh wait, we're missing one thing, aren't we? Don't worry, we'll get there. We're going to come down here to our wiring tools and we're going to grab wire. You see how it makes a dot? The dot means that they're connected. Let's make sure we get them all connected together. Do the same thing over here. Just like that. Okay, our circuit is now connected. But we're still missing a key component don't have any power and we didn't put it in where we needed to put it so how are we going to correct it well 
That's why I did it like this. All we have to do to correct something is click on it and hit delete and it will get deleted no problem so now we can get our switch and we'll rotate it right and we'll bring her in there something like that now we can bring our wiring back boom and we need some power so we can put our power supply in here like that and bring back our wiring I'm never really precise on these they sometimes don't look as well as they should okay so now we're good we have laid out and designed our circuit let's say um our power supply here we can change the name of it and we'll come over here I just pointed to it like you could see it and we'll just put in 5 volt DC hit enter and there you go it remembers it now we don't want 1k resistors on 5 volt DC so again we can come over here and click and make these say 300 oops 300 and finally 300 are you with me so far okay once we've got everything laid out where we want it we can save it and we can move on to either running it uh, test simulation or we can even go through here and have it create the PCB file for us either way so if we want to move to the next step we come over here to this little doohickey and say convert to PCB and now it's taken us to the PCB layout part so here we have our board and then down below we have all of our individual components so this is this is where things can get a little bit tricky what you have to do is place the components in the board lay them all out nice and neat as you possibly can now this is truly an art and it is one that whoops one that I do not possess but once you're here you can auto route so you just find the right tool and click auto router 
and run and we'll see how long that takes but I won't make you watch it once the auto router is done you can come over here and change the different layers of the board now this one's pretty small but you can put on text um, you can put uh, pads in here there we go you can put pads in uh, you can put holes for mounting whatever you want to do so you can see that uh, designing your own PCBs from your own circuit is not very difficult it is time consuming and it can be frustrating but you can do it hey if it's a cold rainy windy snowy Sunday afternoon and your team's not playing why not design a PCB for fun all right hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe that's it I'm out peace